We're going to see an example of a simple HTML5 with CSS. Here you have uh, the HTML declaration with head and in the head part, in the heading, you, we have a, a style where we have declared the CSS. It, it ends here and here the head ends and the body starts. As you know, all this part won't be printed, uh, only will be printed what is inside the body part. So here we have a general rule that says that body is going to be the color of the font is going to be green and the size of the font is going to be 12 point. Then we have here the heading of a third size. You know that there are six sizes of heading. H1 is the bigger, H6 is the more sm the smaller. And here will, H3 will be color red. It will be the font size will be 20 points and the font weight is going to be bold. And then we have here a declaration of a class, a standard class. It will be color blue and a font size 12 point. As you know, a class can be applied to several different elements of different types, to headings, to paragraphs, to divs, to whatever, and uh, you, they will get this uh, format. And then we have this uh, tag, that's an idea, an idea is only for one element, we, it will be yellow and font size 10 point. And then in the body part we have a h3 heading, that is open and closed, this is the heading, and this is in the a paragraph that is class standard, this is the first test, text, and a paragraph with an individual ID, individual, this is the second text, and then you have closing of the body, and here we need a closing of the HTML. So, and sorry, I forgot to show you the beginning of the, the doc type HTML. So with this, think uh, for a moment, which are going to be the colors of the different parts? <coughs> Heading is going to be, this heading is going to be which color, this is the first text which color and this is the second text which color. So we can go put it in a browser and this is the heading, it's going to be red because it's red and it's going to be bold and 20 point. This is the first text that is going to be a standard and this is the second text a smaller and yellow and if we had a paragraph that had no class or no ID, it would be green because the body is green. That's fine. With this, you have seen a little bit of, you can, you can save this into a file like this, for example, uh, html dot, or oh, example, example dot html and open it with the browser. Another very interesting thing you can do with all modern browsers is, with all modern browsers, sorry, is you can locally change the values of the CSS of a page. You can edit it locally to see how it would look. Obviously, when you reload the page, all changes will be lost. For example, the first thing you can do is you can see the code of this page. You can see the, in the source code of this page with the right button of the of the mouse, we say see source code and here you can see what you already know. This is IDOC type HTML with a declaration, the version of the HTML and much more data, then the header starts, it says that the page con uh, has this, all this is going to be meta, is going to be information about the page for the browsers and for other, for example, for the searching engi engines for example, it's going to be text HTML and it's going to use this character code. Uh, then you, we find here the title tag, then the, the name of the meta tag, now with the content you will see the description, the keywords that are no more used by the search engines but they were uh, created to give an orientation to search engines and then we have here links to some CSS, external CSS files, then to some external JavaScript, then we have some inline declarations of CSS, for example the body is going to be 80% and here the heading ends and starts the body with different divs and with images. You can do that with your browser and try to see what's in a page. In some pages, for example the Google ones, there is a lot of JavaScript code that alters 
what you see so probably you will see something different of what you see in the source code. And a very interesting thing is that once the page is rendered you can go to an element, for example this subtitle, click the right button and say inspect element and you will get an inspection window like, like this one where you get the element that is a link because it's this A and here is the link and the title but here we have all the CSS applied to it and we can modify it to see what happens. For example, here you have that this CSS is applied from the file home.css in line 1240 and it's the margin, the padding, the font, the font size, for example, if we go here and change the font size and put here 18 pixels, you see that this has gone bigger. We put 12 pixels again and as this is applied to all the class titular noti, you see that this one is also growing. Look, 12, 14, because we are modifying a CSS that is applied to all the class titular noti. Then we, if we go down we can see a lot more, all these things have been superseded but by these ones so are not being applied but were in a CSS in a line uh, uh, that also affected these things. Depending on the hierarchy of the CSS we will have the, the highest hierarchy uh, applied to it and here we will have how it will render and much more information. It, it is not intended in this course to uh, uh, teach you how to use this but it, uh, we have found interesting to show it to you so you can experiment a little bit with, uh, locally with different web pages. And with this I finish.